So we're here with Chris Bien from Dusan Babcock. He's going to tell us a little bit about how Adipac 2016 has been going. How many years has your company had a stand here? Yeah, well, we, we launched the company here 2013. This is our fourth year in Adipac. And uh, you know, every year we see a difference. Um, this year we thought maybe a little bit quieter given the, the oil price and, and the situation in the market, but in actual fact we've seen the opposite. So again, a strong year. And uh, you know, for our cust company, the, the business has been focused on real diversification and trying to support the clients with uh, you know, their operational needs at the moment. And, and, uh, and you know, we've, we've had another strong year, so it's been, it's been a good event so far. With the lower oil prices, has that affected your company? Has it forced it into diversification, looking at different ways and means to bring in business? Well, you know, we're, we're a European-based company, so we, we've, we've gone through this cycle before, and, and that's forced diversification. It's forced us to have more of an asset management focus in what we're doing, and especially in engineering. And uh, so it's, it's something we already do as a company, and it's something that we're ready to support the clients with. We've not had to change so much, but we have, uh, you know, grown the side sector diversification of the business. So we're now working a lot more in power and water, uh, in the industrial sector as well as oil and gas, and uh, soon to be hopefully the nuclear plant here in uh, Abu Dhabi also. Do you find that this is a very international crowd, east meeting west, kind of Abu Dhabi being the hub of the region, and how is that beneficial to your company? Well, it's hugely beneficial because you know, we, we are a business that has a European base, uh, an American base, also here in the Middle East and, and, and in Far East Asia as well. So we see clients from all around these different regions congregating here uh, at Adipec, so it's a great meeting place and you know, we, we, we really value the show. Um, it's one of the main events for us in the calendar, so uh, it will continue to be. Tell us about your product and service that you're showing here. Well, we're focusing this year on digitalization, um, the idea of big data, and, and really how we can help uh, clients manage the asset better by supporting with using uh, you know, big data and, and, and the operational data from the plant. So that's something we're focused on, it's something we're doing here in the region and, and that we want to get a lot closer to the customer as a partner uh, to, to support going forward. My last question for you is that we've just had some information about the US election, Trump being elected. Do you, what's your opinion of, of, of what, that, what, that hap, what has happened and what that means for this sector? Well, I think it's been a year of surprises. Uh, you know, first of all, we had the, the Brexit um, in the UK and, and now uh, this surprise, I would say, in the American election. But for us as a business, like, we have to be uh, geographically uh, present. We have, to be, we have to be an international global business and to have a product mix that, that can react to any market conditions. And I think we've got that. So, you know, we, we'll wait and see, but I think we can uh, stand the test of time.